Hello everybody. Happy Saturday. Uh, happy 4th of July if you are in the States. I know it is a weird, weird celebration this year, but I hope you're celebrating. Um, I'm Okay, it's working good. I've been having huge issues with my Facebook Lives. Um, just even on my team pages, not sure what's happening. Maybe Facebook did a little change up. Oh, I'm going to move that thing off my forehead and I think we'll shrink it down. See if that helps out. Oh yeah, there's one person on. Okay, that means at least I made it on. So, ah, uh, hello Marlene, yay! We're gonna get going. I'm just gonna click on, I, I have my card. Do you think that I can find it here though? The one that I was going to do. Hi Xenia, how are you? Long time to see, I'm looking over there because I'm reading my computer, but I know you guys are here. Sorry, I have a little bit of a sunburn. I was out working in the yard today. We were digging fence posts at my parents' house and did a little lawn mowing. Nothing exciting and crazy happening here. Let's jump over. And, oh there's Case, hi Case, hi Debbie, hi Sue. And I'm just going to make sure I have up my picture of my card. Hello, Francine. How are you? That I was going to be doing, and I totally just lost it. There it is. Okay, good. Okay, so we, my darlings, are going to play with a little hippo happiness. Now, I will tell you the story behind my hippo happiness because I would tell you right now, initially, I was like, eh, it's cute, but the hippos, maybe not my thing. Maybe I won't use them. Get the hippos. They're stinking adorable. And so I'm turning on a light over here. The hippos have the most amazing dyes in them that you have ever seen. So you definitely want the hippos. And I'm going to show you them today, okay? Peachy. Okay, hang on. I'm trying to click on this light. And of course, it's not working. There we go. We're all good. So I have got Whisper White card base, regular old card base. And it's scored. You're going to get a little bit of a shadow. Lighting's weird. It looks like we have a storm rolling in right now. So I had to turn on those lights for you, and we're going to urch, urch. Yes, I know my bone folder is hideous looking, but it's because I use it to mix ink into ink pads, but nothing comes off. It's all good. Okay, next thing I have got is I have got a piece of Misty Moonlight cardstock. Okay, so this one is four by five and a quarter. Then I grab, I mean, you could absolutely grab your in color for this one, but I actually went to our Flowers for All Season DSP. I'm not using the floral side for this one. I'm just going to use that kind of the cute print side. So I'm going to make that one be a two by five and a quarter. I think that's it. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay. And then once I've got that, the other thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need a piece of Whisper White that's two and an eighth by five and a quarter. Sorry, I can't cut and talk at the same time because you know me, I'll cut my fingers off. Okay. So we've got those bits. Erica just did her Facebook Live. I know, isn't it? She's honestly, I love what she was doing with them. Focusing on her new job. Good job, sweetie. You ordered the hippo set. Yay! Okay, I'm just checking the comments because I moved away. Okay, so this one's just going to go on behind here. So we did a team swap, and this was one I had done for my team swap. Okay, so that's just going to go together like that. I'm going to emboss this first, though, because I want to I wanna zhuzh it up a little bit. And we're also going to take out one of these really cute dies. I want a little uh, Whisper White kind of tag or label on this one. So I'm going to go with, if I could get it out of the box, just a sec. I'm stuck and I can't get it out. But you know that you ever get that when the tape sticks? There it is. Okay. The tape sticks to your liner and you can't get it out. So we're going to use this one here. Now, I'm going to use the hippo. I'm going to use the balloons. So I'm going to get out all my little dye bits that I might need. I'm going to use a cute little bow tie because everything's better with bow ties. Uh, and I do need, I'm not going to do the horse. I'm going to do the hippo. I have yet to do, I've done the horse. I did a horse card and it, it, it turned him into a unicorn. He was pretty adorable. You can do it. Oh, no. The frames are great. I know, Mars, aren't they? Okay. So I'm going to grab my big shot and then we'll get, actually, you know what? Let's wait. I won't big shot yet. We're going to stamp first. We'll get all our bits ready, and then we'll pull the big shot in just once, okay? I just tried to scroll up on my computer using my finger. Does anyone else do that after you've been on your devices for too long? So, we're going to start, and we're going to grab that super... You can see, I've got hippo bits in here. I could just use my hippo bits and not share with you. Hi, honey. How's your nap? It was good. I'm just doing a Facebook Live. My husband said to me, how was my nap? I went and slept in the backyard. Hello, Kim. How are you? Okay. Oh, and I'm going to tell you now, just a second, I scheduled a Facebook Live for tomorrow. 
And this way, if I tell you, then I have to be on for it. And it's in my day planner, so just a second. I scheduled a Facebook Live for tomorrow at noon. That's when we're Facebook Living tomorrow. So noon my time. So that is 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is, I know, Jen, I feel it on, sorry, I called you Jen. Debbie says hi, Sean. Um, Shawnee was a machine today at my parents, digging fence post holes. And, uh, yeah, anyway, we got it done. It's finished. Okay, so I've got that cute little guy on there. And then we're going to grab the accent one for the hippo. So this is this one right here. Pull this one out. We're just going to play today, and you can kind of see how these ones work. Okay. Got it? Got it. Misty Moonlight, where are you? Yeah, you all know I'm giggling because I just said Misty Moonlight, and we all know. Now, maybe I won't stamp all my balloons. Maybe I will save some of my balloons, but I want you guys to see how I stamp these cute little hippos. And when I make extras of something, because they even have dimensionals on them. You can tell when I was making my swap cards, I made too many. Um, so what we're going to do with this one is we're going to ink it up. Okay. And, actually, I'm going to save you. You're not going to go first. And we're going to stamp you off anyway, so that's okay. So we're going to take this one. I'm going to take him and stamp him at full strength. Right on there. Okay. Ta -ta. Then this one. We're going to hippo him off. And then we're going to, okay, you're going to get my hair. Sorry, and it's a bit crazy today. And we're going to come right over top. And it's easier, I find, for me, I tend to stamp my dark one first and then my light and if I do it in that order, I find I have a way easier time, you see that, lining those up, okay? So you kind of get it all set like that. You're totally a gen. Okay, good. Whew. I hate that. It's force of habit. I'm a total name shortener. Well, look, at there's even a bow tie left in there. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to find that super cute little hippo face. I feel like I talked to that face like I talked to a puppy. Okay, we'll put him down. I'm going to just clean these off. I want a smaller block. Where my tea? Oh, there he is. I feel like I might need to invest in a backup set of blocks for the lake. I hate having to pull everything off to put things on when I'm in the middle of a card. I like to have a good assortment of blocks. Okay, so we're going to ink this one up here. Doot, doot. And I'm a twister. Hi, Jojo. Now, what I do with this one is, if you look at this, I line up the two little nostrils over top of the existing two little nostrils that are on my hippo, and then I get those super cute little hippo face. There we go, okay? How adorable is he? Love, love, love. Now, I know that on, just a second, I'll show you these ones, because you can see on these ones, you'll notice that his face is not quite as dark. I, If I remember correctly, I think I used Seaside Spray for my back piece on this one, and then I used Misty Moonlight. So you kind of get the two together, you can see different kind of colors. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, I'll only stamp one balloon, I'll show you die cutting him, but I won't do all three because I'm like, why would I do all three when I have that ready to go? I know, okay Zinia, I know I can totally use both sides of my blocks. Shh, don't tell my husband that. Um, but then I get ink on my hands and I'm super lazy and it's just easier sometimes to have one. <laughs> Shh, Zinia, stop making so much sense. We don't want Sean to hear that there's people out there that do practical things, unlike his wife. Okay, so we're going to pull that off. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to put this back, right? Don't put it down, put it away, my theme. Okay, grab my cute little bow tie. Now, for this bow tie, I feel like it's not actually going on him. I'm using it for my balloons. So I think what I'm going to do on this one, let's check our balloon colors. So we have got pink. We've got green, and then we have, okay, so we've got bumblebee, we've got magenta, and we've got jade. I don't like that. You're kind of iffy looking. And so I feel like I might do, maybe I'll just do the blue bow tie. Okay, so we're going to come in here. Boop, 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 boop. Hello, Carol. Hi, Jan. Okay, stamp another one on here. And then the last thing we're going to do here is I'm going to grab one balloon, just so you guys can see it all get done or not get done. While I'm in here, I'm gonna grab this one. This is just the little, I was gonna say the stem. It's not a stem, we're not stamping flowers. Um, there's the ribbon, bow, string, that's it. Do you like that? I went through all my vocabulary and I found it. There we go, so put that one on there. We don't need them quite yet. And then let's just do one little balloon. Feel like I want to do, I don't know, just for the sake of it, let's get one more magenta balloon going in my thing. 
Hello, Bat. Hello, Sharon. Okay, so ink, 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 ink. Stamp, 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 stamp. Oh, love that color. Oh, see, I totally smoothed that when I pulled it off. Sorry. There we go. Pretty, pretty. I love how the balloon's already got the little kind of white accent in it on this one. It's your first... Oh my gosh, Robin, I think you have the best name ever. You're Robin Hood. That is the best name. Well, I'm glad you joined us, Robin. Thank you. Sorry, I love... I'm a name person. I love checking out funky names. That is a good name. So Robin Nichols, but she used to be Robin Hood, which is awesome. I feel like that's a name I would not let go of either. I would definitely have hyphenated when I got married if that had been my name. Okay, so we've got our bits. We're good? Yes? Well, I love you guys welcoming Robin. Okay, Robin, you're going to notice this is like the friendliest place to be ever. Everyone is awesome. Okay, we've got our bits. It's a good thing we've got our bits. I have the most hilarious tan on my legs today. I fell asleep in the backyard after, well, so we did the fence post, then mowed the lawn when I came home, and uh, with my child. One child mowed, I was weed whacking and stuff, and I showered, and I sat down in the backyard, and I fell asleep, and it's not super hot out, so I didn't get a burn or anything, but I definitely got a little color on my legs, but I had one leg crossed over the other. Super good look, people. Okay. Move our bits. Okay, I'm sliding everything this way, and then I've got these here. I think we're good to go. Okay, should we pull in the die cut machine? Who else is freaking out waiting for the new die cut machine, or is that just me? Hang on. Oh. Pull this one over here. Do, do, do. Put that down. Okay, so we got a couple things we need to do on this one. Apparently, I've got plates going every which way. Um, now, one of these, I realized the other day, has some adhesive on it somewhere, and I don't know which one it was. Was it you? Was it you? No, I don't feel... Oh, there it is. It's there. Okay. So we're going to put that guy down below. Go like that. This, um, Big Shot has seen better days. You're excited? Oh, look at there you guys go. You're so cute. It's hot. Is it hot in Michigan right now? Well, Rhonda was posting pictures of her golfing yesterday. Actually, I got to go golfing yesterday, too. I'm not going to. I won't complain, but it was not hot here. It was kind of, we had a good rainstorm when I was out golfing. Okay, so we're just going to do the hippo to start. I'm not going to get carried away because look at my plates, right? I do have new plates. I'm just being lazy and not wanting to cut into them. So we're going to cut out our cute little hippo. So, so. Good Lord, you are cute. Okay, hippo. So we've got that. Look at that. I want you to see that. I have to give it time to focus. Look at the stitching on those. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Hi, Jody. Okay, we'll put that one down. And then we'll put our hippo down because he's so stinking cute. Now, I did do these for my swap. I'll post the pictures. But I did them in all the in colors. So we had some green hippos and some blue hippos. I had some fun. It's very hippolicious. Okay, so we're gonna come in here and I'm gonna die cut that balloon. And we're gonna, well, we'll just go for it. You know what, worst case scenario, you guys, you don't actually need these because remember, I already have pre-die cut ones ready to go. So maybe I just won't show you how these turn out and you'll never know whether I did it properly or I schmucked up. Anyone else ever have problems with wiggly jiggly hands? Okay, that looks good. Okay, I feel like we're on. I feel like this one needs to slide up a Hair. Nope, not that much of a hair. That was like a clump. Okay. I don't want to beat my hair on camera because I'm still got I still have COVID hair. I couldn't get my appointment till July the 10th. I wish it was hot here. I have the fire going. Ah, oh, Jennifer, I love it. Hello, Donna Gray. How you doing, sweetie? Okay. Let's jump on. We got a cute little bow tie. Yeah, these plates have seen better days because you'll see what they're even doing is they're leaving like marks on the paper. You won't see it on the bits that I did, but kind of means that that paper shot. Okay, let's get rid of it. We don't need it. I want a pretty new machine. I'm over this one. I'm bored. I'm done. Okay, so next thing we've got, I want to grab my bag of... This is how I keep my scraps here at the lake. Nothing exciting. So, me too, or Rob. Um, <coughs> so, the, my bag of scraps, I just do them by color family. So, at the lake, you know, I've got 
my brights, my regals, my you name it, and I keep in these. Okay, so we're gonna grab a little piece of you, ta-da, and then I think I'm gonna go, we're going blue, so I think I'll use a little bit of my pink. I'll grab you. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, I've got my little trimmer out. Did you know that Stampin' Up! Demonstrators, we can buy these now? Yes, yes, I can. Except this one I need to clean because look, I got adhesive. I get adhesive everywhere. I'm a bit of a messy person when it comes to stamping. Okay, so what I'm gonna grab, stamp set, where'd you go? We are going to grab Hip, Hippo Hooray, and then we're gonna grab the Hippo Birthday. We're doing both. I love lighting the fire, makes it feel crazy. Yes, for sure, Donna. Mind you, I, don't, I like, I'm kind of one of those. I put mine on the edge, you'll see why. Okay, just a sec, and then we're gonna put that one on the edge. Okay, so the reason that I put these on the edge, now I guess we could kind of check to see if it's straight, but we're not really gonna worry, is because when I ink it up, now I'm not getting ink all over my whole block. If it, if there's ink just on the, uh, if the stamp's just on the edge, then I'm good. Okay, you're gonna get hair, I'm gonna have to put hair in because I have to get this straight. When I totally wiggled it at the end, okay. I didn't also ever do that, you're all straight going down and then you like, Okay, right, so we got that one. Hip, hip, hooray. Love your rooms. I know. Did you see her new pictures, Case? Weren't they awesome? Okay, so we're going to come here. And look at again. Line up the bottoms. Stamp, hippo birthday. Put that one away. Don't put it down. Put it away. Oh, you're, now you're hearing my 16-year-old gaming in his room. And he's got this, like, the big dick. No, I'm the giggle now. <laughs> kind of creeps you out sometimes. Okay, so we're going to slide this one out just to there. Bring it there. I don't want you too thick. <laughs> Chop it off. Love having little strips like this. Okay, super cute. There we go. Tiny, tiny. Then we're going to do the same thing with a magenta. Now you're here for crafting. I know, but I always feel bad, and especially because we have curly hair. The back is often, you know, your front of your hair might be done, and the back, it can just sometimes do its own thing. And I never really know what it's doing. Okay, there we go, because I can't see it. There we got another one. I feel like that one's not straight. It's not. Okay, we're going to stamp one more, because that's going to bother me. Which one was that? That was the longer one. I, I stamped it straight. I just didn't cut it straight. I am now creating my treat gifts. Good girl. Okay, we're trying this again. Donna, I stamped. It's crooked. Donna and I got to meet each other last year on the cruise, finally. What time? That was like early in the morning, wasn't it? When we were both out walking the deck. Okay, so we're going to come over here. Try this again because, you know, I never know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to just not worry about. Sorry. Right. Oh my God. You guys, I shouldn't be stamping today. I can't stamp and cut. I feel like my depth perception's all off. Oh, Debbie, the hair's out of control again today. And especially when you fall asleep, when it's slightly damp. Or we're just going to keep stamping this. Third time lucky. Anyone else want to try? We're going to leave the strip. We're going to see. Let's see if she can do this on a strip of paper. Ha! Bring it. Sorry. That was cheeky. Up to top deck. Okay. Put that one away now. You use the crooked side. That's all. Oh, is that what I did? Thanks, Cork. I think you're paying attention because I ain't. Okay, so I've got my bits. I've got a hippo. I've got my hippo birthday. My hip hip hooray. We need my card base. We need my seal. Okay, so I'm cracking up because I'm seeing people lose the plot over seal, and they love it or they hate it. It's like a it's a total love hate relationship. I love it. I'm going to make you love it. We just have to decide right now, and I'm going to give you a choice because we have to do uh, one thing left to do. We have embossing. So. I want you to decide, do you want the textured embossing or do you want the dainty diamonds? Take your pick. Textured, dainty diamonds, textured, dainty diamonds. Okay, I'm watching. Can't wait for Maui. I hope to get out to go next year. They say no flights out of Australia till July 2021. Donna, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit worried about that too. I, uh, I don't know how anything is going to happen in May of next year, but we will see, right? That's all we've got. Diamonds. Okay, good. You're the first one. Woo woo. You win. Just because you're, <laughs> of course, you beat you to it. Marlene was, I'm giving it to Marlene because she was first one on today. And she was my first one to respond. That girl is quick. Okay, so we need my blue plate. Grab it. Dude. 
Boot. There we go. We're going to diamond it. Now, your only thing with your diamonds, people, pay attention because when you put it in, it's a straight lined image, right? So you want to make sure that you're lined up because if you're not, it's going to be noticeable that you're crooked. I always put my crease side in first. You totally odd that out. <laughs> Hello, Diana. Um, because you want to release the pressure. So crease goes into the machine. So then as it pushes pressure, it has somewhere to go out instead of cracking the end of your folder, which I have seen people do. Not so much with the new ones, the 3Ds. I haven't seen it, but with the old ones, I saw people do it. Okay, so pull out our little dainty diamonds. I'm going to put you back on the ledge. Actually, make sure that's not in there because otherwise I'll feel like I've lost the folder. This is the exciting, it's the exciting part of my day today. Does that count too? Hello there, Jame. I miss you. Vancouver, BC. Okay. Now I lost the card front. We got it. Okay, so let's take this. We're going to take that seal. So what I do with my seal, I wish I could show you, is I... Okay, so this is, I want you to envision, here's the paper, okay? I run the seal along it. When I get to the end, I roll off like that. So I go, run and roll. What I find is with the run and roll technique, that what it does is, you know how some people are talking about how they have a hard time with the seal not advancing forward, and then they have to use their finger? I don't get that. So um, I just find with the way I did it there, it just runs and it sticks, okay? So you're going to try that one. Oh, I love how you're all saying you're from a cute hair clip. Oh my gosh, I think it's like my dollar store hair clip. Um, Jamie, I miss you too. I haven't seen you in forever. Yeah, so Jamie, yes, I do it exactly like I because I used to do the same technique on fast use. I was not the check girl. I know some people did the little check mark at the end. That was not me. I rolled it over, and I didn't have any issue. Okay, so we're going to stick those down. Nice and pretty. There we go. You see it? How gorgeous is that pattern? Now, before I put these two on, what I'm going to do is I don't want to glue down the white and then glue down the blue and then find out that, you know, in terms of they're not quite matched. So I'm going to put these two together first. There's my lid. Don't lose it. Run, roll. Run, roll. Look it. No issues. I would say me too, my daughter came home unexpectedly. Oh, I'm sorry, Debbie. I'm glad you get to see her. Okay, so here we're going to come in and we are going to line that up. Try and keep it straight. Stick your tongue out, it'll help. Ooh, those are actually cut very well. They match up quite nicely on the ends. Check it on here. Make sure it matches. Yep, it does. Okay, so we're good. Next one, here we go. I'm going to run, roll, run, roll. There we go. Do you like how I'm going to say that to you every time? You do. <laughs> okay. And put that one in. Put you down. Ta -da! Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab that cute little label that we had. Okay. Now with this one, I am going to grab my memento one last time. And we're going to add in those balloon stems, as I call them, instead of strings. Hello, Cindy and Roz. Hi, Jewel. Run and roll, baby. Okay, so with this one, all we're going to do, take it, and we're going to ink it up and stamp it three separate times. I'm going to keep it kind of off to this side, so boop. And then just stick them over top of one another. There we go, okay? I'm not worrying so much about how I'm lining that one up, because I'm going to cover up where they meet with my little bow tie. I feel like this part's kind of blurry on here. It looks beautiful and clear on my one screen. Drop and roll, run and roll. Yeah, girls. Okay, just a quiet day. I have issues with my new seal. So Diana, honestly, I feel like the run and roll, I, I've had, I had issues when I first started and then I was like, oh, I'm gonna try it like I used to do my fast views and I found it worked beautifully and I was like, ta-da, that's what I'm going to do. So we've got our cute little bits and we've got this. Well, next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our last little sheet of dimensionals. Hi, Wandigo. How is everybody? Makes me want to sing the Gary Glitter song. Run and roll. I don't know the song. Okay, there we go. Disney canceled her college program. Ugh. Okay, I know, but all of this, I think the issue, Debbie, that we're finding right now for so many of them is none of these things would be a huge issue on their own. And uh, 
I feel like everyone's stress level is just kind of to the max right now. And so they can't take the little additional add-ons that we seem to be getting thrown. Okay, so we're going to stick this down. I'm just using this edge to make sure that it's straight. I'll send it to you. It's old, called Rock and Roll. I've been watching all your videos. I missed. Just had foot surgery. Oh, Lisa. Okay, can you craft still? Are you still good to craft? Okay, so now we're going to take our cute little hippo, and we're going to pop him up. I'm just going to stick a dimension on here. We're going to stick him on just like this. Now, with that cute little bow tie that we did, so we've got here, I've got a blue bow tie, but I feel like I might need to swap it out for green. We'll decide in a sec. Let's get our cute little balloons. Foop, foop, foop. Okay, now these guys can handle full-size dimensionals. They're fine. Isn't that a hippo so cute? Okay, I'm going to pop you here, and then I'm going to pop um, my yellow one as well. So this is my bumblebee. Doot. And pop a little bit of bumblebee. Be ta -ta. And then we're going to take this guy. Now this guy we're going to cheat, okay? And I'm actually going to grab my silicone mat. There it is. Grab your silicone mat. This one I'm just going to stick seal straight across it. And I just did the run and roll technique. I'm not doing anything different and mine works every time now. We're going to move him up and just pop him kind of off, you know, offset on the other two. We've got a bow running around there. Okay. Hello, Julie. Hello, Shanda. How are ya? Okay, I need scissors. Where are my scissors? Paper snacks, come here, please. I'm kind of liking this new thing. I sit and craft now with you guys. I've got this set up so that I can sit at my desk with my other stand. There. And I figured that that issue from the Facebook Live the other day where it was looking very small. Okay, so he's going to go on here. And you're gonna oh you're gonna be a tight cut. Okay, hang on, I gotta think. You're going up. Okay. So you are going to go like that. And then you are going to go like that. Okay, we got it. And yes, they're different thicknesses, that's totally okay. Now we could go all cockeyed and kind of make them move around. I have issues. I feel like they need to be straight. So I think I'm gonna do the hip 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 hippo hooray <laughs> and then I'm going to do hippo birthday down there I'm going to get rid of these we don't need them now the bow tie remember when I had the other colors of bow ties I feel like I want a different color bow tie and I left them in here so let's check okay so we've got a green can you guys pick do we want to do your boys are doing a 24 hour gaming night oh my god I love it okay so are we going to do a jade bow or are we going to do, just a sec, a Misty Moonlight? <laughs> Sorry, still sounds like a stripper name. Okay, which bow do you want? You guys tell me. Okay, so you, while you're deciding as to what color bow we're using, I'm going to grab some mini dimensionals. Now, I just have little ones left over here out of um, paper pumpkin kits, and I never, I always use them up, so I'm not using one of my regular sheets of my mini dimensionals right now, it's just a mini. Jade, Jade, Jade. We're all going Jade. Okay, perfect. There we go. I looked up. I saw two Jades. Jade wins. Oh, look at it. Deb, you totally got outvoted. <laughs> I love you guys. You crack me up. Okay, so we're going here. Let's just grab. Uh, I might cheat on this. I'll watch this. This is great. Go like this. Boop, boop. This is my bad side stamping, right? We want the good side. And we're going to put that down there. Bumblebee. Oh, I love how, look at it. Kim's like, use a bumblebee bow. But I don't have a bumblebee bow here. Kim's like, well, go make one then, Ange. Get on it. Okay, let's put you down like that. Now, I do just want, again, look at it. I'm using weird supplies here, but it's purely because I refuse to throw these out. And they're great up at the lake for when I'm kind of doing all these little bits. I need my take a pick tool, which I'm kind of having a jammer. Because, oh, there it is. Because it wasn't where I thought it was, but it's right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to grab my Take a Pick tool. I'm going to take one of those cute little glue dots that we get in our paper pumpkin kits. I'm going, it's okay. I'm like you and you like the straight, you like the straight and I go matching. <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, I missed. 
pop you off because you don't get to go on. You got vetoed. Okay, let's put you on like that. Now, we're going to do one last little thing in here. Hang on, everybody freeze. I know you can't order them right now, <clears throat> but I'm sure they will be back. I'm just going to grab, okay, there's that one right there. Yep, there's one right there. I'm grabbing my little in color dots. Okay, so with these, what we're going to do is I'm just going to take, can we have both colors? Both color bows? We just, we can put, I'm just peeling these off here. So I'm going to slap one on here. So, ta da! And I think I will slap on a pink. And then I think we will slap on a jade. We'll go like that. Yeah, we could have. Oh, you look cute with a bow, too. Oh, there. It could be your bow. Oh, no, I watched it. Too many bows. So stinking cute. You're totally casing. Oh, I love you guys. Thank you. Okay. Hang on. We're not done. Oh. <sighs> We need one last thing. And I was like, why does it look naked? I feel like I'm missing something, and it's because I am. And then that means I'm going to have to move this one down. Can I move this one down? Can I get it off? Can I get it off? I got it off. Haha, <laughs> move it down. Okay, just that. Now, for this one, I am going to grab a little bit of my Just Jade ribbon. I'm going to grab my bow maker <clears throat> that my hubby. Which, ma oh no, hang on. Thanks to you and Eric, I need the bundle instead of just the dies. Yeah, man, you do. Hi from, S oh, there we go. Okay, here, hang on. I have to focus. Something shiny. Now, this is a bow maker my husband made me. I have two of these. I have one at the lake and I have one at home. My one at home's got my metal pegs. My one here's got my wooden pegs. I'm not gonna lie, I do prefer the metal peg one because I find it's easier to slide the bow off. So all we're gonna do here is I'm gonna tie a cute little bow, boop, and then we're gonna grab my ribbon scissors. There we go. <clears throat> Move your ribbon over to the same side so you can tell what you're cutting. Then we're gonna go like this, boop, slide it off. Oh, okay, but you know what? I love how you think that I'm all smart with my colors. Lisa, I'm literally just using the in colors, and I know for the most part, they look really great together, and so that's kind of all I did for this color combo. Okay, so now we're gonna take that cute little bow, and thanks, Dot. Oh, you need this, Nimiji. Honestly, you need it, because the the dyes are killer. You'll use them for everything. And then I was like, well, I'm not gonna order just the dyes, because, you know, after, if I ever decide I wanna sell them, and so they're, I was like, they're gonna be useless to me with just hippos, so I got the whole thing, and now I'm like, oh, Glad I got the whole thing because they're super cute. Does your husband, hey Sean, what? does my husband sell those bow makers? What? <laughs> he said I'm sleeping. <laughs> he did. He made them for me last year. We, he had, he made it, you what, honey? He says he does. Okay, oh, Casey. He says he does and he will now. So people need bow makers, yes. But I'm in Canada, so I feel like if you're in the States, it's going to cost you a fortune. Oh, good. Louise, go crack. But then send me a picture because I want to see. Okay, so we're just sticking that cute little bow. I just tucked it onto the side corner there. Okay. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hippo, hooray. Hippo birthday. Adorable. He wouldn't be. I, Jamie says you wouldn't be answering if you're sleeping. <laughs> oh, bless his heart. He's such a good, Jamie says, she, now she's promoting you online. Jamie says, Sean's bow maker is the ball. <laughs> it does make life easier though. It is. Anything to make our lives easier, right? Anything so that your wife doesn't complain. Okay. And Sean has two months off right now. You can make a lot of bow makers, love. Bless us, man. Okay, so now he deserves sleep. He's been working. Oh my gosh. Corey, you should have seen him at my parents' house. He had a eight inch diameter. He was doing an auger for the fence post holes. And he was like, I'm sure you could do it. And so I'm starting to watch him do it. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'd be on the ground. I would have been kicked back. It was crazy. I'm not sure what shipping would be to the States. Judy would like a boat. Judy, you're in Canada. You're good. I'll get Sean on it. Okay, so hang on. I'm going to jump. He charged 20 when he did the last ones for them, but he does them pretty. Like, look, here, I'll show you. They're all sanded and smooth, 
and you've got all your little, whoops, these are all pull out so you can adjust your bow size depending, you know, you could be doing a gift, you could be doing a tiny little one on a card, but that's all they are. They're just these cute little sanded down things. Yes, exactly. And the other thing you can do, Barb, someone said you can use a fork, like the prongs on your fork for little tiny bows. Okay, they're in here, right? <laughs> Where's the hippos? Somebody help me. Hippo happiness, page 49. I'm going to it right now. Ah, <sighs> there we go. That was so nice today. I needed this. Mary Spicer says she would like one, please. Okay. Send me a bow maker. Sean, Donna wants one in Australia. Get on it. Donna would like one in Australia. Do you remember Donna? You met up on the deck on the cruise ship? Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, so, so he's like, oh, yeah. Um, she would like one in Australia. Get on it. Bye, Louise. Okay, so this is it right here, you guys. So this is the Hippo Happiness Bundle. It's item number 154080. As I said, I mean, you can get just the dies for sure. They're super cute, but I would go with the whole thing because otherwise you're going to have these super cute little hippo dies and there you're going to go, well, no, what do I do with them? And then you're going to want to do one. So I want you to make sure that when you order it that you get both. Don't get just one. Get the, get the little bundle. Now I want to check something out. Oh, it is. Okay. Can she do it? She can. Okay. So look. I have not been on in a while, and we have not got to do one of these ordering specials, so pay attention because this is a really good one, like a really good one. So if you get your Hippo Happiness Bundle, that's the 6550 bundle, my darlings, I am going to give you for free, and you can have your choice. You can either have the Dainty Diamonds ones, which was the one that I used. That's the one that gave us that gorgeous pattern there. Or you could also choose the Tasteful Textures 3D. That was the other one that I gave you the option of, and that's that one there okay so either one of those you can choose for free now this one's only good till 6 p.m. tomorrow evening Sean would make me one I'll make sure I talk to him in Maui <laughs> I don't think I, I can't bring wood into Maui can I like, there's weird restrictions about what, we, what kind of things we can carry so guys if you head to shop with North Shore and you place your order using this host code that's an XGP 77 ZGP you're your number one you're going to get yourself a $6 off coupon because the bundle is over $60. And number two, then you're going to email me and say, and I would like either the Dainty Diamonds or the Textured, and I'm going to get that sent out to you, okay? Thank you so much for joining me. It was so much fun to be on with you guys again tonight, and I will see you guys tomorrow at noon. Ha <laughs> ha, that's my family just said that, so I'm saying bye, guys. Mom's doing something at noon tomorrow. Take care. See you later.